What's going on everyone, my name is Tom from Dead Labs, and today I'm going to show you how to make this LED text effect in After Effects. Alright, so this is the kind of effect that you'll see on an LED panel. I see there's a lot of festivals and stuff like that, so I thought let's just do a tutorial on it real quick because I use this in a uh, project for a client lately. Um, so the first thing you want to do is make a dotted grid. And an easy way to do that is in Photoshop. You can also do this in After Effects if you guys want to. I'll show you another way. Maybe in another tutorial or you can ask me in Discord or something. Uh, but the easiest way for me was just to go to Photoshop. I'm going to make a new file that's 30 by 30 pixels. I'm going to zoom all the way in here. And I'm going to grab an ellipse tool. And we're going to make an ellipse of 17 by 17 pixels. And we're going to center that. So then we're going to go to edit, define pattern, call this dotted grid. Then we're going to open a new file. At the bottom here, we're going to click on pattern. And we'll click on the last one. And as you can see, this is kind of big. So let's just scale it down to 20%. And we'll save this up. And your dotted grid is ready. So basically this is ready to go and you can just drag this into After Effects. So we'll make a new composition in After Effects. We're going to go to the project bin here and we're going to import our dotted grid. We click OK. And we can just drag this in. And to make sure that it's actually there, let's just toggle on the transparency grid. And as you can see, our dotted grid is here. Now we're going to add some text. And for the people asking, the font is Airstrike Regular. So now we're going to go to Effects and Presets and we're going to click on the Fast Box Blur. And we're going to drag it onto our text with a blur radius of 3. Then I'm going to drag the text to the bottom here in the playlist. And we're going to use an alpha mat on the dotted grid. And as you can see, you already have that dotted, faded out like kind of effect. Uh, the more the text fades out, the less the opacity of the dots will feel like, I guess. So now we want to have that glow. And we're going to select both of our objects here. And I'm going to pre-compose them. Alright, so the next thing we want to do is we're going to duplicate this a couple of times. Uh, let's just duplicate it once by pressing Ctrl D on our keyboard, or Command D if you're on a Mac. And we're going to add a fast box blur to this as well, with a radius of 3. We're going to select the top one and we're going to duplicate that again. And we'll make the blur radius 10. And once more, and we'll make this one 30. Then I want to go to Layer, New, Adjustment Layer. And we're going to go for a Glow. So for the glow, the color A and the color B, I'm just going to use some colors that I like, which you can do whatever you prefer. And I'm going to click on the alpha channel here, put in 50, and put the radius to like 50 as well. And we're going to click on comps to original on top. So basically we are almost there, uh, but the last thing we need is the flicker. So we're just going to go and duplicate this bottom one that doesn't have any effects on them. And select all of the top layers here except the bottom one. Click on pre-compose again, call this glow pre-comp, and we're pressing T on our keyboard, we'll open the opacity property here, we're going to hold alt or option on our keyboard on the stopwatch, and click, and we're going to type in wiggle 100,10. What this will do is this will generate a random value between 0 and 100 on the opacity property 10 times per second. So if we play this now, can see that the lights like slightly flickering so yeah guys there you have it uh this is a rather quick one but i really like the effects of this and it's an easy one to play around with see if you can have your own variations stuff like that uh, if you want to get the project file for this tutorial it'll be a link in the description to my patreon and if you become a patreon of mine you'll get access to all of the project files for my tutorials not just this one uh, there's tons of um, tons of photoshop illustrator and more uh project files there you'll also get a 15 percent discount in the dreadlabs web store where i sell a lot of graphic design assets and you'll also get a Discord role. So if you have any questions left, leave them in the comments or you can join us on Discord and ask them there. And with all of that being said, this was Tom from Dreadlabs tuning out and I'll see you guys in the next video.